How's everybody doing? Good. 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 It's good to see y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that should be fun, I was huh? I wondering if you're going to pass the playbook on to them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I got too many guys who got my back here to do that. That's for sure. It should be fun, though. Um, every every game is a every game is a privilege and an opportunity, and you know, regardless of who you're yeah. playing, you just I'm just happy to be able to compete and do what we do. Um, last year reminded you that it's not. It's not given, you know. Um, we get to do it. We don't have to do it, and you know, I'm, I'm just thankful. What about rebuilding this front seven, especially with Anuka getting hurt? Uh -huh. I mean, is Chris Barnes in the mix? I mean, how are you going to build rebuild that interior and yeah. the three linebackers? Yeah, you know what? Everybody's up. Um, we coach with the mentality that it's the next man up. Everybody's up. We 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 coach starters and waiting. Um, because the reality of the football of football is somebody's going to get hurt. It's it's not a matter of if it's when. So that's just the mentality that we have. Um, you know, Coach Half and, and myself, we do we even do it with the coaches. It's it's whoever we're we're teaching and training everybody to be the next guy, so that when something does happen, we're not caught off guard. It's very unfortunate, but it's part of the game. Is run defense kind of a concern right now, though? Run defense is always a concern because that you know but that's even a, with all those guys. Left. Yeah, it, it's it's always the goal that to to stop the run and when you if you feel like you don't have some of your best players in there that are really good at doing that, yeah, you you have a concern until you're actually in that situation in the real game. So yeah, um, it's something that we're working at and we're, we're striving to get better at. Yeah, more about your depth. I mean, do you feel like you guys do have more depth this year than last year? You know, there's a season under your belt, and you're getting yeah, more recruits. For, for sure, the depth has improved. For sure, um, we felt like um, a lot of the freshmen that have come in, you know, potentially have a chance to, to help us. Um, but yeah, it, it, once again, it's just, it's one of those things on defense. You practice all fall camp or spring. It's not the same as a game. Um, you have an idea what you have, but you don't know for sure until that that first snap on uh, what is it September fifth. Fourth, you gonna miss it? Is it the fourth? I was gonna say. Yeah, please. Some, yeah. Yeah. Somebody like text me. Somebody that? text me. That's make a, sure that I'm there. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a fine on behalf of all of us. <laughs> so speaking speaking of that game, yeah, uh, Colgate. Yeah. So uh, you won a Patriot League title there. All yeah. That, and just what was the, I mean? What was that? What's it gonna be like for you to see them on the other side? Um, it'll, it'll be strange at first, but you know, unbelievable memories there. A lot of good friends on, will be on that side of the. Uh, the ball. Um, my wife is an alum too, so as a whole family, it's it's something that's going to be um, strange at first. But at the end of the day, the competitive juices will take over, and you know you don't look at the you know, the logo that you're going against or the colors that you're going against. You just know that you're competing. So um, it, it, hopefully, hopefully uh, it'll be a, a good memory by the end of the game. Are you a sideline defensive coordinator or a box? I'm in the. I'm on the sideline. Really? Yeah, okay. I'm on the sideline. Um, we uh, substitutions. We, we like try that. to we try to arrange it where we we even up as far as who's helping, seeing things on the field to help me see and be ahead of plays and whatnot. So it's it's a um, it's in many ways it's strategic. Um, as a coach, I've been in the box and on the field. There's advantages to both. So, um, but last year I was on the field. Uh, coach, a lot of hype around the offense with good reason, but. Defensively, do you kind of use that as motivation for your guys as well, that they're kind of you know, flying under the radar and, and all that? Uh, I can honestly tell you that, um, in my opinion, it, 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 it irks our guys a little bit. I'm, I can't lie about that, um, and I like that. I'm going to leave that at that. <laughs> Um, Coach Halfley was talking about um, well, you have more depth in the secondary this year than you did last year, and there's a little more competition going on back there. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it, it's... For, to me, it's the it's the goal. It's it's what you hope. It's what you anticipate for your whole defense, not just a, a specific position unit where nobody's ever comfortable. If you come out here and you don't show up or you have a bad day, somebody's going to skip you. And we have that back there, and, and um, it's shown. A lot of guys have stepped up their game. Um, it's gonna it's gonna make us be a better defense when games come. You're kind of a good blend of cover guys and hitters. That you have for sure, area. for sure. Um, we're still a work. We're still a work in progress. But um, yeah, you, you try to get as many. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just get the get the best eleven out there, regardless of what their strength is. 
your your best eleven players have to be on the field, and that's that's what we try to do. How have things gotten better, easier this year uh, with the COVID restrictions? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, you know, because there there's so many minute details that we have to focus on when we coach that when you're also worrying about um, the details of their safety, which take priority, um, it. it you could you could end up watering some things down yeah. of, of when it comes to coaching. Example of like what what you've enjoyed. I mean, you know, Coach um, Halfley was talking about just being face to face with people, being able yeah, to being face to face and actually having face to face conversations with a specific kid. Um, they they can they can feel your urgency better. Um, you know, you might raise your voice and they know that you're raising your voice at them because you're closer to them. Yeah. Um, so you can make more specific coaching points to one person rather than from 10 feet away. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You know, um, the so urgency, they might not like. <laughs> yeah, the urgency, the urgency is just better. Yeah. Period. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know how much you do like technique. You know, actually Exa- getting down. Exactly. Like, we're, we're, no we're, we're, yeah, we're a hands-on coaching staff that way. Um, above all, it's all about how you know. It's about respecting our our guys. We yeah. treat the, we treat our guys like pros, but. Um, you know, we're quote unquote hands on, and we and we're very into one on one instruction. So that that's that's been big, and just to be able to get them in meeting rooms and get them the specifics one on one has has uh, has shown has shown too. So they, if I ask them the question, would they say they like being one on one? Now that they know who's getting yelled at, yeah, it depends. No, no, I we we have the type of kids that they they want. They want to squeeze everything out of their out of their ability, out of their bodies, and so they do a good job of coming and getting one-on-one instruction with their position coaches or the or the coordinators. Your family's good and everything. Yeah, so thank safe. goodness. Appreciate okay. that. Thanks. Jimmy yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you.